Hello, Campbell. Hello. And which name do you check in at hotels to be incognito? Um, I don't, because I'm in denial about being in a band, so I just use my real name. Daniel Smith said that, should I? is a very common name. How many others have you met? Lots. In my school, there were, in my year, in my class, there were six Dans. Um, and I think it's probably the most common name in the UK. So I'm very obvious and boring. Please say the next word three times in a row. Popo kate petal. What? Popo kate, repeat you. Popo kate petal. Popo kate petal. Again. Popo kate petal. Popo kate petal. <laughs> Your recipe against heartache? Um, uh, more heartache and alcohol. <laughs> Within the band, who is farting the most in the tour bus? I'm going to ask every member of that band. Um, I'm going to say Will or Kyle. Every time Kyle does a fart, he points at the light bulb and tries to blame the squeaky bulb, but it's always him. How many T-shirts do you have? Way too many. Um, I'm very lucky and get given lots of T-shirts by, by people who come to our gigs. And I, uh, my, my room at home is just one big pile of T-shirts. Describe the ugliest present from a fan. The ugliest present? Probably anything with my face on it is the ugliest present from a fan. <laughs> Show us how you style your fluffy hair in the morning. Good question. I don't know. Show us. I don't know. I'm rubbish at that. <laughs> for how much money would you shave them off? Um, anything for charity. I would shave it off. I don't really care about it. So I would happily... I used to have a shaved head, so it would just be going back to that. Okay. Your band is named after the starting point of the French Revolution. How many years did the French Revolution last? Good question. You tell me. How many years did it last? Oh. Guess. Um, I wouldn't like to hazard a guess because <laughs> I will just look more stupid than I do right now. <laughs> <laughs> Please hum the soundtrack of The X-Files. Is that right? You are a burrito fan. I am a burrito fan. Burritos are How amazing. How do you prepare the, per the perfect one? I like my burritos without rice because I like to get as much other stuff in there as possible. So I think you get the spiciest chicken you can find, shred it up, get some awesome guacamole in there, get some salsa, some sour cream, loads of cheese, some corn maybe, uh, and just a lot of chipotle. Spicy sauce is the most important thing. And how do you look when the spicy sauce is too spicy? It's never too spicy for me. I'm always like... Never had that? No. I mean, I have, obviously. <laughs> I, I, yeah. I don't know, what do I do? Uh, maybe run and like plunge my head into a toilet when it's too spicy. I've never actually done that, but I can imagine that maybe I would. I just really like spicy food, um, and I think I've, I've completely fucked up my tolerance to spice because now I... I can't really detect it. I'm saying that. Someone's going to give me a really big chili soon and it's going to kill me, literally kill me dead. So, Thank you so much, Dan. All right.